Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. This isn't going to be a very long video, it's just a bit of a, an update on my equipment as it stands today. I've had a few major upgrades and I just thought I'd keep you updated with how my rig is looking and basically everything that I'll show you today, well all the new stuff, I'll be doing reviews and videos on at some point. So without further ado, let me show you what I've got coming up. So, as you can see, I've had some rather large upgrades. <laughs> so, the first, uh, you know, elephant in the room is the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro. Now, this is kind of like an early Christmas present, but I'm I'm allowed to use it now, so it's it's all good. The reason I got this was I'm trying to get into review reviewing more stuff and my HEQ5 really struggled with the RASA for longer than 30 seconds. So I was like, hmm, I think a beefy amount is in order. And I want to put it on my pier and I wanted this handle. So yeah. And also the saddle, it won't mark all those nice vixen bars on those new telescopes, etc. So, yeah, EQ6R it is. It's got the new one with a, a USB port and a snap port for sort of controlling your DSLR camera. And it's also got a really new beefy power port. So, I've got a cable coming for that today. There is a power cable supplied with it, by the way. It's just that I want to run it via my Pegasus Pocket Power Box, so I need a different cable. Another big upgrade, which has upped my game a lot, is the Pegasus Pocket Power Box. They do an Ultimate Power Box as well, but this is the Pocket version, and I'm using it to power my camera all being well the mount and I've got a new focuser that will be my little power and also it's controlling my dew heaters and it's got a, a humidity and temperature sensor attached so it can control those dew heaters automatically this thing has been great for allowing me to get a bit of cable management going and I'll be doing a review on that at some point as well. The next big piece of equipment is a new camera. I was using this with a RASA and I've end up, ended up keeping it. It's the Altair Astro 294C Pro Tech camera. It's an 11 megapixel colour one shot camera and I'm still using it, I really really like it, I like the bigger field of view that it gives me than the 183C, um, no regrets there at the moment for changing over and I'll be doing a review on that at some point as well. And finally, the last big upgrade is the Pegasus Focus Cube version 2. I fitted that today and I've had some right stinkers of sessions lately. Basically, I've messed up my focus. So I'm going to be using this with, there's a program called Nina, which can do auto control autofocuses. Um, I'm going to be giving that a go. I've got the temperature probe attached just here. Oh, there's the Pegasus Pocket Power Box temperature and humidity sensor as well. And I'm going to be giving auto focusing a go. I'm not sure how it's going to go yet, but I've also got a hand controller to use as well. 
This is the hand controller for the focus cube. It plugs in where the temperature sensor plugs in so you can't use both at the same time and you can just manually focus it by turning this knob. If you turn it, it controls the broad focus. If you press it then turn it, it switches to fine focus. So it's quite versatile and I'm looking forward to trying this out both automated and also manually as well. So all in all, I think I've been rather, rather lucky. Um, probably not with the weather, but I'm looking forward to giving all this new equipment a go. I've used the 294 a bit so far, but I want to get some more images before I do on a review on that for you. Um, another thing I need to get for the EQ6R is a new Pole Master adapter. I won't be keeping my HEQ5 um, and running two rigs. Um, I'll probably just be keeping this one and being well, I'll be getting it on my pier at some point. So, as always, thanks for watching. Luna says hi too. <laughs> Bye for now.